Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this video lecture today I am going to discuss about column footing marks for building. Many students, they can't do column footing marks on site practically. So this is too much helpful and important video for every civil engineer student, right? And remember, if this video is helpful for you, so must like this video. And many students, they watch our video, but they did not subscribe our channel. So must subscribe our channel with press bell icon to get notification about any video. Let's see how to do column footing marks for building on a site. So these are shops. These are shops, which varies 12 feet and length is 13 feet, 12 feet, 13 feet, 12 feet, 13 feet. And the last one is 15 feet and 13 feet, right? So this is way between the shops same like we can say it's a uh, we can say it's a plaza or it's a market anything okay you can take suppose so uh, this is also 12 feet like this this is also 12 feet 12 feet and last one is 15 feet okay and weighs just 20 feet and clear width of the shops should be 12 feet suppose you can do your design it's your wish okay suppose you want to take 15 feet you want to take 16 feet you want to take hall 20 feet etc okay so just in this video i am going to show you what is the example and how we can do column footing practically on site so inshallah i promise that i will make a video practical on site okay that how we can do column footing marks on site okay so the shop width should be clear 12 feet in this video i will show okay and also like 20 feet will be clear without the walls okay internal and 13 feet will be clear and internal okay and also 12 feet etc okay so my diagram will be back from this one because just uh, it's example and uh, uh, you will uh, see it clearly right so this is my first column and first of all you will decide that what will be the thickness of the wall for your project suppose I will take thickness of the wall here for this project just 9 inch which is equal 0.75 here and remember footing size is here 12 2 feet and 2 feet so it's depend on your project it's depend on your design you can take 4 feet 6 feet 8 feet 10 feet etc okay so in this video an example my uh, footing size should be 2 by 2 feet and Thickness of the wall should be 9 inch, okay? So it's depend on you. If you want to use uh, the wall thickness 6 inch or 12 inch or 18 inch, etc. It's depend on you. But in this tutorial, I will show you the example with the thickness of the wall should be here. 9 inch, 0 0.75 feet. Okay, so first column is here for this one, for this shop, okay? So I will use here, I'm just trying to mark this, yes, it's okay. Okay, so for this shop, I will do column marks, column footing marks. Okay, my diagram will be back no matter. Okay, so it's first column. Okay, so this is my first column, this one. Okay, these are columns. Okay, etc. Remember that the, the wall should become on the center of the column. Remember this point, the wall should become on the center. How? Like this. So, uh, it's depend, column marks should be on the center okay so it should be on the center like this you can use it in grades okay it should be on center but my diagram is uh, just so I say suppose I say column 1 C1 okay so here we know that the wall thickness is here 9 inch is equal to 0.75 feet. So if I take clear width of this shop 12 feet, so I will take the other 
from this center from this one center I will take 12 feet and 9 inch 12 feet 9 inch I will take suppose I take here 12 feet 9 inch suppose this is my center for column okay so if this is center so it will be 12 feet and okay so suppose okay so it will come like this and here like this so it should be 12 feet and 9 inch so 12 feet is a clear space between two walls okay now why I increase 9 inch so 12 feet is the Red of the shop, but I will take here from this column center to this one 12 feet and 9 inch. 12 feet and 9 inch. Okay, so it will give us look at here now 12 feet. So here you can see that this is wall, this wall will come 4.5 inch one side and 4.5 inch other side. Okay, so this is 4.5 inch. So see here, this one is here 4.5 inch and also this side 4.5 inch. It's why? Because the wall thickness is 9 inch. So 4.5 inch on this side and 4.5 inch on this side. So it will give us clear here. So it should become this one. It should become 12 feet. Because 4.5 inch will come here and 4.5 inch will come here right now the other wall okay and one feet from other side and one feet from other side it will be internally when we design it so after that we get the space free space after that we can design our wall right so another side we can also take here from this point to this one 12 feet 9 inch again 12 feet 9 inch suppose it will come here this is center so we will make so this is the mark so you can take here like this okay it will also again 12 feet and 9 inch okay so the wall will become on the center of the column this one and after that from this point we will take one feet one side and one feet other side offset from one side and other side one one feet which become two feet and also from this side okay once this side should be from this one feet and also one feet this is the easy way you can do so suppose I complete this side now I will take the other column by this side right and we need 13 feet clear length of shop okay so from this point now we will take here from this we will take here 13 feet and 9 inch 13 feet and 9 inch suppose it come here 13 feet 9 inch so when I take 13 feet 9 inch so the it will come like here like this okay so look at here now this is the center mark for column footing so here 4 point so the wall will become like this ok this is wall 9 inch so here 4.5 inch and here if I take a wall like this so 4.5 inch so it will give us clear 13 feet because I took here 13 point 13 feet and 9 inch so 4.5 inch here and 4.5 inch here so clear it become 13 feet because we took here 13 feet and 9 inch same like this so you can take here
Similar this. This is wall. This is also wall for other shop. And the column size is here nine inch and nine inch. And also, so this is the easy way to do column footing marks. And I will try to make practical video on site how to do column footing marks. So if you have any question in this. So you can ask and you can comment, I will try to reply your answer.